there's something I want to say that I don't think would actually be helpful for people, but I would say to you all, I'm pretty convinced when like tragedy strikes, what's, what our faith is in is revealed. So if our faith is in a God who gives us a comfortable life, and then tragedy strikes, that comes to the surface that, oh, what I wanted or expected or hoped, or we don't even understand the motive of faith. And oftentimes that's revealed when tragedy strikes because you realize, oh man, I had faith in a God, not who I trusted as good. I had faith in a God who would make my life easier and better. And when the tragedy strikes and that doesn't feel like it's true anymore, then I abandon that faith, which I'd actually respond with good because it wasn't faith in the living, good, kind, ruling, reigning, grieving God who is. Because that's what I found in my grief is that when I'm willing to open my heart to what's actually in there, whether it be anger, grief, specifically at the loss of Randy. God's heart is there too. My brother-in-law made a great comment at one point. He's like, just really early on, he just said, God hates death. Like heaven, there will be no death. He hates it. So when I allow myself to hate it, when I allow myself to hate what he hates, is that I find God there because he hates it too. So if only I'd be willing to open up my heart more often. In fact, I feel kind of funny getting to a place with moments like this to go like, I want to woo people to grieve because what you'll find is more of God's heart because he's grieving about a lot of those things too. He's grieving about what happened to people when they were younger. He's grieving about the trials that we face. He's grieving death. He's dr grieving loss. He's grieving unfairness. He too hates it. And one day, and this is the hope and why I think we can grieve with hope is because it won't always be this way. And one day everything will be made right. And I so hope for that, that I'm willing to shout out crazy things to God, like how long, so I can say that, I can say how long will it feel this, how long will it feel impossible, how long, I, I can shout timing, like how long with anger, I can shout with whatever's actually inside my heart toward God, because I have faith that it won't be for forever, so he's okay with that question. <laughs> Almost feels like a backwards way of trusting God. I thought in order to trust God, you had to like get to a place of like, I trust you. And now I'm realizing the way to trust is the way of honesty. So even if it meant, God, I don't see your goodness. God, I'm so angry. It's weird to go back to that, that time. I'm so angry. There's so much anger in me and so much sadness and so much grief that I don't even have words to pray. All I have is like guttural sounds coming out and yelling. Like that's what I had, but that was honest. So in that moment, that looked more like trust than me pretending to be somewhere else. So the way of trust is the way of honesty.